poppin' guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jimmy Miller. In case you're new to my channel, this is my channel where I react to all the dance videos. I am a dancer myself and you guys are my dance fam. I love talking about dance with you guys. Uh, so today I'm going to do a two for one and here's why. Um, I'm sorry I took a two week hiatus. I didn't mean to. It's just things are getting so crazy with this coronavirus thing. There were a million other things on my mind, but I'm back. I'm excited to really hound out uh, some more content for you guys i'm i'm back glad to be back with my subscribers shout out to everybody in india shout out to all my dance fam all across the entire world i hope you guys are staying safe with this whole pandemic that's happening guys stay at home like be on lockdown for real <laughs> for real this is not a game this is not something to be played with uh please be safe listen to your governments listen to the cdc do whatever they tell you to do so that we can get this thing out of here because this is this is crazy um anyway so i'm going to be bringing you a two for one today and to, the first one uh, that i'm bringing you is the v unbeatables america's got talent championship performance uh their actual championship performance and not the results show performance so it turns out the video that i did before was just the results show so i'm gonna correct my mistake and i'm gonna actually do a reaction to their actual championship performance even though their final results show performance was their final performance but whatever semantics and the second video that i'm gonna be bringing you today all in this same video is the royal family los angeles world of dance 2015 performance this was requested by a user out there uh shout out to you you know exactly who you are uh thank you for requesting this video i'm gonna be real with you this is a piece of choreography that i'm very familiar with but i love it so much that i'm gonna react to it anyway so let's do it uh let's jump straight into it here it is v unbeatables america's got talent championship performance let's go simon kyle's nervous that never happens okay <laughs> from behind the counter. Yeah. Classic B unbeatables. Oh, the precision. Bribery. <laughs> Let's go with the choreo. Looking good. We're in sync. They got this bike. Oh, tricks with the bike. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. 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 Yeah. Hey, man, I just want to dance with him. Oh. Oh my goodness. That's sick. Nice. The tire. Front flip. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna get the whoa? Nice. What? What? One, two, three, four people high? Bollywood. Nice. What? What is this fabric? What was that? Whoa, oh my goodness. What is happening? No! No! Oh my goodness! No way! Dude, no way! Yes. Be unbeatables. One hundred percent unbeatable. Like is real. What? 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 What was that? Oh my god! Oh man! I'm speechless. That was crazy. That was so crazy. Oh my god. Um. Wow. Okay. All right. Let me collect myself. 
Okay. All right. All right. Let's bring it in. Bring it in. Woosa. 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 Woo. Oh. Okay, I, I about had a heart attack on that performance. Wow, that was amazing for starters. So let's just let's just break it down piece by piece. Um, they came from behind uh, the judges panels. They the little kid taps him on the shoulder. They chuck him over the judges panel onto another dude. Oh, they threw him on top of two people and he landed perfectly in sync. How do you practice that? What do you do? How do you measure the distance from where the judges panel is to where these men will be standing so that he can land perfectly in sync, do a front flip and land on someone's shoulders? Like that mathematically makes no sense to me, but somehow they figured it out. <laughs> so that was an amazing section. Then I want to move into, I, I don't even know what the next section is that I want to move into. There was so much there. So they had this tire thing and these guys do, do one guy does a flip over the tire as it's coming forward while the other one does a backflip behind it like that was crazy um shout out to throwing some american flavor in there because i saw them hit this dance move that we call the whoa here in america which is just this little like little thing they hit that in the choreography so i i appreciate that uh throwing in a little american flavor i'm very happy that they kept it straight 100 percent Bollywood, like you cannot beat the joy that Bollywood has, that Bolly Hop has, like, bruh, it's, it's for real, it's legit, like it gets you hype, like it really makes me want to get up and dance with them so much. Um, moving into the fabric, I don't know what the heck that was, they just had this piece of fabric that these guys did like a running backflip up off of. Then they threw the guy, they put a guy in the fabric and they launched him out of the fabric. Who has the time or the creativity or the mind to think of some of the extraordinary things that these guys do? Like these guys are, like I, you guys should change your name from V Unbeatables to V Extraordinary or V Unreal. Like it's, it's unreal. It's not possible. Like it's crazy. Like whoa. Oh, I'm trying to calm myself guys. I'm really trying to calm myself, but it's hard because it's like that was so freaking tight Okay um, Last thing I want to talk about is the closer Bruh, the the bicycle thing like When you see it come out you're thinking like they're not gonna throw a guy onto a bicycle on top of someone else's head Like you you see it come out and you're like they're not gonna do it They're not gonna do it and then they do it and you're like what? Like what are you serious right now? They threw him on top of a bicycle and he landed on it like it was nothing like as if as if the bicycle was just made for him to be there like that. Like it was just meant to be hoisted on top of two people's shoulders so that he could flip onto it. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, get out of here. Like, th that's, it's unreal. They deserve every America's Got Talent championship trophy after that. Like, they should, they win by default. You can't beat it. Like, they, they can't do it. I want to see. I want to see somebody try. I don't think it's possible. That what are you gonna do? The only people. The only people that could even hold a candle up to them is the kings. Like and that's it. Like I don't even know if the kings can really pull it out. But that's it. They're, that's their only competition. So adding it up, yo, everything was on 100. Creativity 100. Choreography 100. Um, what else? Uh, uh, synchronization, 100. All of it, like 100s all across the board. Like if these guys went on World of Dance, without a doubt, they would win. Like they should just go on World of Dance just to wipe out everybody. Like just to show them what the heck they are supposed to be, what a million dollar performance looks like. That was worth every bit of a million dollars. Like flat out 10 million dollars like that was crazy i know they put hours and hours of hard work into that i know they practiced their butts off because there's no way you can have that kind of precision um and 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 not risk a life from time to time and and to not put just put the work in to do it and they did it oh oh whoo but that's it man 
100s all across the board, board. Like, it was crazy. I, I'm trying to collect myself, and I can't. So, let's move into this second reaction. I don't even know if I really want to see the next video. I, like, bruh, like, after that, what do you do? I wish I would have saved it for a second. Because now, I don't, I don't know how interested I'm going to be in this next video. But, let's do it anyway. Moving into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm back off of the crazy high I just had from the V Unbeatables. I had to take a breather because, I mean, I, I had to walk it off. It was crazy. It was too much to take in. So, we're moving into this next one. This is the Royal Family World of Dance Los Angeles 2015. Um, it's just a really good, solid piece of choreography. This was requested by one of my users, by one of my followers. Uh, shout out to my dance fam, uh, Liani Allen. Shout out to you. This is just for you. Uh, I enjoy this piece of choreography too. Let's, let's watch it and I'm going to give you my feedback on it. So let's go. It's all girl group and they act absolutely kill this choreography. So let's watch it. I'm going to try my best to break it down piece by piece. Formation. Levels. We got the leader here. Swag. Nice. Groove. Mmm. Formations on point. Uh oh, okay. I forgot about this. They're moving into the whacking se section here. Whack, whack, whack. They got the guys whacking. Whacking is so tight when you do it right. Leg lifts. Honestly, I'm not impressed with the legs lift that much. I like the beats they're hitting. Transition there. Nice. Okay. They're coming out with the canes. Or um, oh, it's a gun. Okay. Alright, little courtyard with, with the prop. That felt really pointless. Okay, with the death drops. That was nice. Swag. Good song selection here. Ball so hard. This mix is sick. I felt like that could have been executed better. Like, I feel like if he was ticking up the girl, she should have been ticking with him. Mm. Mm. I'm biased. I don't really consider twerking hip-hop. The forefathers of, of hip-hop also, also don't consider twerking hip-hop either. But you always find it in there. Alright. Got some reggaeton happening here. Swag. Nice. Nice beat riding. All right. I can appreciate that. All right, ready, 
their popping is a little bit sloppy for me. Slag it, slag it in the air. I could have did without this section, honestly. Alright, uh, I see some swag. I like that. Levels. Textures. I'm really not a fan of young girls twerking like this, man. Like, can't be older than 15, 16. It almost feel like it's dragging on too long. And here we go with whacking se section number two. I think one is enough. His center was on point. Okay, that takes some talent. Uh, we seven minutes into the performance and I'm getting kind of bored. Are they going to actually do some hip-hop now? There we go. Alright. We got, we, got, we got some popping from the guys. Old school Missy Elliott. Swag. I like that transition. That was smooth. I like that. Go 
chop. See my hips and my tips so chop. See my hips and my lips don't chop. Work it. I need a glass of water. Boy, you boy, it's good to know you. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my name down, I'm flipping and reverse it. It's your favorite if it's my head yet. It's your favorite if it's my head yet. If you got a big one, let me search it. And find out how hard I gotta work it. Yeah. It's your favorite if it's my head yet. Now we're going to do another whacking se section. Good. All right, finally some crumping. Yo, alright. Honestly, so yeah, this is a piece of choreography that I'm very familiar with. I, uh, honestly, I don't know if it's because I just got done watching the Beyond Beatables video, or if I'm just, if it just wasn't as good as I remember it to be. But for the most part, man, this was a lot of twerking, a lot of booty popping, a lot of hip rolling, a lot of chest rolling. Um, and honestly, I'm not a fan. Uh, the, the founders of hip hop as well aren't really a fan of twerking either. I don't know if you guys know that. They're, they're also not a fan of, uh, of whacking, which I don't mind whacking so much. Like, it's, it's dope when it's done right. But, um, for the most part, they don't really accept those, those genre, sub genres of hip hop as hip hop. Um, even though we've kind of adopted them into hip hop anyway. Um, Moving through it, man, I, I got bored with that performance, man. It was just like, here's another hair swinging, booty popping, chest rolling section for you guys. Now we're going to transition, and now we're going to do this whacking sec section. And now we're going to do go back into the hip rolling, booty popping, chest rolling section. Back into another whacking se section. And it was just, you know, it was redundant. Um, I didn't see, I did enjoy a couple pieces of, uh hip-hop that they did have in there like when the guys came out which unfortunately it took the the males to come out to actually do <laughs> hip-hop so they came out the guy had a, a very small crumpet section he was dope he killed it he held it down for the for the short period of time that they gave him um there was uh, some some other old school kind of hip-hop in there too i enjoy um uh, the overall message, which to me, the overall message was just like female empowerment. Because if you really pay attention, the men don't drive this performance at all. The women definitely drive this performance. And even when the males are on stage, the women are leading the men. Um, which, you know, that's cool. That's what's up. Uh, female empowerment. Yeah. Like, I, I enjoy that message. But also, like... I just want to see more more genres of styles other than whacking and booty popping and chest rolling. That's that's not hip hop, man. Like it's it's not. It's it doesn't take a bunch of talent to to booty pop and chest roll, you know? Like I'm just being honest. Like it's it's cool. Um it's not impressive. It is by 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 no means is that impressive at all. Um but yeah, so overall, uh, if I could rate this performance on a scale of one to one hundred, I would I would rate this performance. I would rate this performance at like a seventy percent, like seven seventy, because it's it's I don't know it 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 was lacking in a lot of areas for me. Um, I'm just not impressed with their genre, their style of what they consider to be hip hop. But uh, yeah, so sorry to be a damper about it, but. Uh, I'm just keeping it real, keeping it 100, just giving you my thoughts and opinions. Like I said, Dance Fam, um, it's just really just my thoughts and opinions. Um, obviously, people disagree with me. They think it's, it's dope. I don't. <laughs> um, but it just is what it is to each its own. Um, yeah, so that's that's overall Royal Family uh, LA. Like, good job on your formations. Good job on your synchronicity. Good job on somewhat of your creativity i think 
if any section that I would that I would subtract from is the creativity because there was just so much of the redundant what seems like the same genre and it didn't really tell too much of a story it gave you this theme of female empowerment but it didn't actually tell a story um, and that's just something also that I like to see in a performance too is when it actually like has a start middle and end versus just kind of like hands up in the air, blah, 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 we're done, um, kind of kind of deal. But I did get the sense of female empowerment. So that was good. Uh, but yeah, creativity could have been a, a, a little bit more stronger in this specific performance. But yeah, that's your two for one today, uh, Dance Fam, for today, for the reaction video. So yeah, if you like my video, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all those things, hit me up. You can follow me on my Instagram. It is underscore Jimmy, J-I-M-M-I-E underscore Miller. Um, yeah. Shout out to you guys, Dance Fam, and I'll see you in the next video. Out.